Hello everybody, today we are here again with Nir Ehrlich from My Profit uh, platform. In this video we will talk about what is negative cash flow, how to calculate it right, how to work with it and how it will help to your eBay dropshipping business. Nir will show you everything which you need to know uh, to calculate right your negative cash flow and in the next video we will also work with it to calculate our whole profits from our uh, dropshipping businesses. So Nir, the uh, stage is yours, enjoy. Thank you, Leo. Hi, guys. So uh, if you remember in the previous video, I talked about positive flow of cash that was coming from three major sources. Number one was paper report, the amount received from customers. Number two was paper report as well. It was the positive fees in cases of refund. Number three was credit card. It was about refund cash from your supplier in cases of refund. So today I want to talk and discuss with you about negative flow of cash. I call negative flow of cash to any transaction that comes out from your business. That will answer the question, who are we paying so much money for? So basically there are five sources of negative flow of cash. One is credit card. This is the payments to our supplier for the items that you purchase. Number two is PayPal. It's about negative fees for using PayPal services. Number three is PayPal as well. It's refund to your customers. Number four is to eBay, negative fees for using eBay services. And number five is specific costs. These sections include all the non-generic costs like using a warehouse, paying a VA, paying a, a, a market research software and more. So this is the five major uh, points. Now I want to uh, show you example to each one of these points. Okay, so now I will share the, four, the first point is my uh, uh, credit card uh, Excel file. So uh, I will uh, just uh, remember you, the first column is the dates of the transactions. The uh, uh, column C is the name of the suppliers that you paid and column D is the amount of money. So now uh, we will do the opposite from the previous video. We will go to the filter and choose the number that are greater than zero because the numbers that are greater than zero are the numbers that you paid your suppliers. So now we've got uh, the whole uh, numbers. If we will sum the, all num the numbers together, I will get a total result of, let me see, 2,170 euro, but do not forget, we have to uh, do another step. We have to go to column C, and then you click A to Z, because you want to see if there is something suspicious that is not relevant to your supplier. So now you can see, I see AliExpress, and then I see here, number four, it's a non-relevant data. It's a, a PayPal uh, uh, invoice and I will delete it because eBay is not one of my suppliers and I will show you in the next points how we, how we deal with eBay. So now I delete it and I will see only suppliers. I see AliExpress, Amazon. I will go all the way down. I see only Amazon and AliExpress, it's okay. So now I will, I will uh, uh, calculate the total sum together and the result is 2,000 and 90 euro. I write it down and I mark it in a red color because it's money that I pay. Okay, so this is the first point. The next point is PayPal. So I will show you my uh, uh, PayPal uh, report. I will share it right now. If you remember in the previous uh, video, I'll show you how to download it and I marked it in red so you can see it. I go to uh, column uh, D, it's the fees, and the number of the total fees is 90 euro. This is uh, point number two. Point number three is refund of, uh, uh, in PayPal to customers. I see it in column F, the amount refunded, I see it's 308 uh, euro. So we talked about three points. We have two points more to cover. Number four, uh, point number four is eBay, negative fees for using eBay services. I will show you how to uh, go to the eBay and just, it's very easy to, to, uh, to collect this data. I will open one of my accounts. 
Okay, I will share it to you. Okay, so you can see your username here uh, at, the, at the bottom of the page, at the top of the page. We click on account settings. And after we click account settings, we go to the right and we can see this is the billing, the invoice. I will choose the specific month that I want uh, to calculate. This, uh, I chose November, uh, last November, and I see the total amount, this is the amount that uh, is relevant, is 34 euro, 34 euro. This is the eBay invoice. It's uh, very important for you to know how to see it. So we talked about uh, four points, and now, now, if you remember, Point number five is specific costs. Specific costs, I will uh, explain again, it's all the non-generic costs. So I, I don't have an example, a practical example to show it to you because everyone is working in a different way. So if you use a warehouse, you have to write it down and to know how much you pay in this warehouse every month. If you're using a VA, you are the only one that knows how to uh, calculate it because I believe you are paying it uh, through PayPal. Just click in the paper search menu, uh, the name of the ID of the VA, and you will see how much pay money did you, uh, you pay them only in this specific month. If you are using a, a, a market research software, I know, uh, I believe that you know what are your payments. So you have to write it down manually every time you're doing uh, the, the calculation. So let me summarize all the data. We, we went the first point to my credit card and we saw uh, uh, we took only the positive numbers and we deleted all the all the uh, transactions that are not relevant to suppliers it was uh, 2090 euro then we uh, opened my uh, PayPal account and we saw fees and we saw a refund you have to write it down and mark it in red because it's money that you paid out from your business then we opened uh, my eBay uh, account we saw the invoice of uh, 38 uh, euro, and then the specific cost is individual to every one of you. You have to write it down, sum it together, and the total result is uh, the total flow of uh, negative cash. So basically, Leo, this is it uh, from my uh, point of view. Cool. I wanted to add something, some uh, tips about this. What I usually do, I create a sheets file, uh, Google Sheets, and there I put uh, like all of the month of the year, like one to 12. And there I put for each month, if I, uh, I already took the expenses for, from this site and if I already calculated it. Then this way I can just go over the sites one by one, put all of them in a list, and then you can just go over the sites and add all of them to one Excel file. And then it's very comfortable to work with it and you will not forget anything on any month. This is what uh, I recommend about this because it's important for both for the accountant and also for us to know what is our uh, real profit. Uh, really? Thank you very much, Neil, for the explanation here. Uh, it was a great video. Uh, thank you want, very much. You wanted to say something? No. Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, the next video with Neil also will be very interesting about how to work with all of this stuff together, right, Neil? It will be yes, right. In, in the next video, I will try. Uh, to provide you a live demonstration, to take a real uh, month, and to add all the knowledge that I gave you in the previous video together, to take all the uh, positive, to, pay, to take all the negative, to take all the specific costs, and to show how I really put in Excel files all the relevant data, and I calculate the real total profit. Amazing. So under this video, I will add two links to our two previous videos, and after that, when we will release the new video, I will also add it here under this video. So see you in the next videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave a comment with any question which you have about uh, finance management. Nir can answer all of your questions under this video. See you in the next videos. Bye-bye. Thank you.